seen in their bags for the timetable for the early bus, I think. They were. It was a demoralised crowd. It's going to be Wang Lichin to serve then. Final set of this second match. Bad news for Granga. It would have been good psychologically to get the opening point. Oh dear. <laughs> Great forehand topspin. He's getting terrific power into his topspin strokes, Wang Le Chin. the net suddenly the luck did swing the other way Wang Le Chin pumped up he knows how important the opening points are and Jorgen Persson who of course won that first match obviously said the vital words but what a flick from Karanga he saw Wang Le Chin stepping around blind here we see it Wang Le Chin just hunting the forehand and Karanga saw it And there was almost underspin on that forehand from Krianga. He went round the side of the ball. Just watch this. And he dragged the ball with so much side spin. There was almost a touch of underspin. And Wang was shim putting it into the net. And that was those two points were gold dust there for Krianga and Oxenhausen. He really needed them. Great rally. What a tremendous. And the crowd is responding. Krianga with his all action style, forced away from the table and whipping that backhand with copious amounts of side and top. Great athleticism from Krianga. Oh. And it's an edge. I said that previous one, you at home will have seen the spin. It was just unbelievable, wasn't it? And the crowd still murmuring and mumbling. Krianga, a big edge. And suddenly, he takes a two-point lead. Krianga, who plays out of Greece, played in Romania until 16. Then he defected. And it's two service errors in a row. Are we going to see a timeout soon from Pearson, who is coaching Wang Lichin in this game? That was a big point. I think we would have seen the timeout had Kranga won that one. He did two big, big backhand top spins, and he went for the side spin, top spin with the forehand, and it just missed the edge of the table. Look at the amount of effort he's putting into it. Screaming during the point. The capacity crowd is absolutely alive. Kalinikos Krianga with a fantastic reaction backhand. Power top spinning. And look at the reaction when he wins the point. <laughs> it's just amazing because twice you thought Wang Lichin it was there for the taking, but he will not give up, will he, Krianga? He puts his heart and soul, not into his matches, into every single stroke that he plays. And there we have it. No surprise there. Jürgen Persson, he could feel with the great experience that he's gathered over 20 years in international competition, that the momentum had swung decisively behind Oxenhausen and Kalinikos Krianga, the crowd vocal, lifting their man, and Wang Le Chin really does look a nervous and suddenly worried performer out there he's four points down he is serving 4-8 in this deciding game these are tense moments remember that Krianga 
must win this match. If he doesn't, Khan will be two matches to nil up. They'll only need one more, and they're very likely to get it. Elwa well, will certainly start favourite to win the next one, for sure. But that's a great return. The forehand flick proves effective. It was brave because Kranger has not been reading the serve. Just look at this. The service action disguised behind the free arm, a reverse serve. It was topspin. Kranger guessed right. And now it will be the backhand service short to Wang Lichin's forehand. Oh. Yeah, that's an unforced error from Karanga. He knows it. He's got to try and upset Wang Lichin with the service. And he's not going to upset him if he serves too long. That ball drifted long, allowed Wang Lichin to get in with the opening topspin. The crowd chanting for Kalin Kranga. So and that's very bad goes news. the other way. Absolutely, it's the net for Wang Lichin. And three services in a row, Wang Lichin's managed to win the point. Forehand to forehand topspin. Well, Granger had more side than topspin, brushing round the side of the ball. And that's four in a row as they change ends that Granger has lost on his own serve just at a time when he wanted to really put the question mark against Wang Lichin, and he might be changing to the forehand service now. He's got to take this point. That's more like it. Kranger taking the initiative this time. The service return came long. He again went for spin rather than power. Oh, and he's missed. Big opportunity there for Wang. He misses the forehand topspin. That's not what Kranga wants to do. It was a good serve, though, from Wang with Shin. Underspin. And another unforced error. The key to that was that Kranga cut right underneath the ball. He got a great deal of chop or underspin. Whatever happens from here, you have to say that Wang Lichin had this match for the taking. Well, he still does, in a sense, because if he plays how he knows he can play, he'll win it. But he's just missed another unforced forehand topspin. Oh, what a terrible... That's amazing. Wang Lichin seemed to be going so well, and he's made a hash of three successive forehands. It was up in the air and he, he wasn't really sure whether to go for it or push it. And in the end, he put it lamely into the bottom of the net. And this is a fascinating example of how pressure can affect even the best of sportsmen. And Karanga doesn't want to have the same kind of set of five serves as he did last time. He's using the backhand now. He's got to try and make it count. If Karanga can just maintain his momentum, you suddenly feel the match is for the taking. Oh, and somebody shouted out just as Krang was about to take his second backhand topspin. The gentleman in the crowd obviously thought he'd won the point already. I think it was out, it was something in, in German, but I'll go and find the phrase book. Well, that's a crucial point, that isn't was, it? That was big. And this one's even bigger. Yeah, all he has to do right now, Kranga, 
is get the service short and get a good topspin in, and he's going to win the point. But now it's Wang the chin to serve. And if Kurianga can just keep the ball on the table, unless there's a sudden transformation in Wang's mentality, and he gets the confidence back again, it looks like Oxenhausen are going to have brought themselves back from the brink of defeat. Never does Wang Lichin need serves like in that first game more than he does now. That's the let. Three points between them. Bad return of serve from Kranga. It did didn't look like topspin, and we have a timeout. I think, yeah, that was called by Leo Amazic, the coach from Oxenhausen. Wang Lechin winning two.